Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. So I haven't played this for a little while, but I've been waiting for a very special update, which is out now. There's now a workshop. But first, a massive thank you to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring today's video. We've teamed up to bring my own custom line of PCs that I actually helped to create. Now, I won't lie, these pre-builds do cost more than building your own PC but it takes all the hassle out of it and you know it's been set up properly. The reason I've always chosen pre-builds myself. So if you're thinking of joining the PC Master Race, consider checking out my line at the link below. And if you use code engineer at checkout, you can now get 10% off, but that only lasts until the 14th of April. Thanks Apex for supporting the channel, but let's get back to some destruction. All right, so here's what we built last time. <laughs> the circular saw made of saws. But if we head into the showcase vehicles, you can see the one that we made, it actually made it in. The flaming boosh unlocks at level 20. I think the one above me, the death wish, I think that was Dre's. So I, I reckon technically I'm better than Dre. In your face, Dre. But yes, the reason I'm back in this game is Steam Workshop. I've downloaded a selection of vehicles. Where are they? Where? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> here they are. Here they are. So we've got all sorts going on in here. And let's start with this. Holy crap. That looks cool. <laughs> Look at that bit. <laughs> so I think this is like an elephant. I'm not sure about that bit though. What? They added balloons. So this game has received a lot of updates. Uh, and this thing now floats. That's so cool. Oh, and it's got boosters. So we can like fly into a building. And we can turn. Boosh. <laughs> Oh, it's got so much weight. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. All right, we're sort of floating over this. All right, we're over the top. Let's get rid of the balloons and just smash through. Oh, the weight of it. Okay, that was pretty cool, actually. And also, look, it does actually walk. Or at least looks like it does. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs> look at this thing. That was meant to be Michael Jackson, by the way. All right, so next up, we have a steam train. <laughs> they must have added so many new parts. Obviously, the cylinders, I think they're new. And then these bluey, glowy things, what do they do? Anyway, let's just ram into the corner of that building. Boosh. Oh, God. Oh, it won't stop. It won't stop. Go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, dear. Uh, so as well as forward and backwards, it's also got these buttons, E and T. Oh! <laughs> cool! <laughs> and then what does T do? Oh, oh! Oh, no! No! <laughs> too much, too much! Man, driving trains is hard. All right, next up we have this, the Apache. Uh, apparently it actually flies. I have no idea how that works. Although I assume looking at it, we've got boosters underneath. So I don't think the blades do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not too surprising looking at them. Uh, right, okay, let's try and work out how this thing flies. So that's forward and backwards. Left, right, okay. And then we got Q, which doesn't do a lot. Uh, right, I think we're sort of flying. Are we flying? I think we are. Oh, look, we're spinning. Okay, this is really cool. <laughs> and now we've got the blades on, so it looks like we're actually flying. Sweet. How do I shoot my cannon, though? Oh, not, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> All right, sod this. I don't know if there is a shoot button. Let's just try and fly into the tower. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Well, it does fly, just with me at the helm, not very well. Now, this is something we can test our bridges and hopefully destroy the tower with. It's a steamroller. It looks like we've got jets to get us around corners. Now, this handles surprisingly well, actually. <laughs> this is awesome to steer. Fair play. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Are we going to fit on the bridge? Yes. 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 Oh, and the bridge is holding a steamroller. Oh, something exploded. Oh, bridge is barely hanging on. Can we make it across? Let's just gun it. Gun it. Gun it. Gun it. No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, going back to this level, we've been contracted to flatten a building. Let's start with that little weenie one over there. So we've lined up pretty well. See you later, building. Boosh. Oh, <laughs> flattened. And this one, just because we can. All right, because we got a new road going through here, and it's actually going through the strongest shaped building as well. So, are you ready? Boosh. All right, it's eating its way through. It is eating its way through. Oh, and it's out the other side. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, nearly lost the arse end. Oh, now we're going over the building. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's a flip button. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there's also a cannon on this. So that's sort of potentially useful if you spam it. Nice. 
And I, oh, the tower came down. All right, well, for how simple that is, surprisingly fun. All right, now we're on a different level. We've got another strongest shape building. I love the engineering in this game. Luke, the developer, he's definitely let engineers design the buildings, not pesky architects. Uh, however, we, we do need to destroy them still. So this is the pulverizer railgun, apparently. Looks absolutely mental, if a little bit sad. <laughs> it's a bit dangly at the front. Uh, so let's raise that up a bit. Nice, we can spin. Okay, so then we've got E, Q, and R to play with. Oh, what just happened there? I feel like we just sucked a load of stuff in. Ooh. Okay, so if we go a little bit closer to the building and then we press E. Oh, God. What the freak? I think we just took the tower down. And I think the tower's now become part of us. Okay, that building on the right is about to get shredded. So let's press Q. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? I understand why it's called a railgun now. Oh, so I think what's happened is there's loads and loads of magnets. And when they all repel, can you see in there? There's a little cannon. So because all the magnets are repelling, when you press fire, it absolutely canes it. If we turn them off, this is what a normal cannon does. Plop. <laughs> so I've restarted the level. We're not going to turn on the attract magnet because that just wrecked everything. So we've got the repel on one. And then are we ready to... <laughs> Look at the hole it left. All right, I'm going to get over here. We're going to try and aim for the tower in the middle. Oh! <laughs> Holy poo in a sock. This is insane. Boosh! <laughs> it just wrecks things. And then when we attract and drive forwards, it literally just... I can't even see what's going on. Just everything gets attracted to it. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, so this beast is called Newton's Wrath. And I assume it works like a Newton's Cradle. I I was actually tempted to try like a Newton's Cradle, but I never got around to it. Let's see what happens. Oh, proper battering ram. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't think it's meant to work like that. <laughs> Tell you what it is meant to work like. Boosh. Oh, man. This is pretty fun. <laughs> Look at the carnage. I forgot how good this game looked. All right, can we make it do a loop? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Well, anyway, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> if a little bit tricky to control. All right, now you might be wondering, what the hell is this? Apparently, it's a gyro airship. So if we press G when we start. Oh, we got balloons. We are going well into the air, though. Let's not go too high. Let's not go too high. Oh, and basically, because... It's, they've literally made like a gyroscope inside it. So it's sort of self right Yeah, if we just let it settle a second. It's a very stable flyer. Like, ha what? That's so cool. And basically we're like a drone. So I think we can just boost. Yeah, we can shoot really, really far. we got to get a little bit closer. So let's go in a little bit closer. And then if we aim down. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Oh, this is really cool. The other tower's just gone down by itself. Let's head over to this tower. Hey, look at this thing. A proper flying gyroscope. So we can go backwards a bit, try and line up our guns. Boosh. <laughs> Eat that tower. Okay, this is like a million times cooler than I thought it was going to be. Like when I first started, I was like, oh God, it's bouncing all over the place. But look how stable it is. I can't even imagine the trial and error that must have gone into this to make it this stable. Yeah, so the only thing it doesn't do, it doesn't allow you to go up or down. I think it just hovers where it is. So yeah, it does go mental off the screen for a little bit, but that's just while it resets. But then it's back to flying at a steady altitude. That is insane. Fair play, whoever made this. Fair freaking play. All right, so next up, we got something called the Prongus. <laughs> Look at this. I don't even understand how this is going to work. I'm worried. We've got magnets again. The railgun last time sort of scared me. So how is this going to work? So we got standard move controls. And then we've got... Oh. <laughs> Hello. So that goes in and out. Oh, we can spin those. Is that all it does? Uh, what does G and F do? Oh, magnets. Oh, I'm really not sure about this. Okay. 
I feel like if you got abducted by aliens, this is like something they might use on you. Uh, let's go and prong this tower and see what happens. And we'll do it without the magnets to start with. Oh, we knocked out just one little... Look at the precision. Ready? Take out those middle beams. Oh, and it's down. It's coming down. It's coming down. All right, now we turn on a magnet, I guess. So, G. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, did that hurt the frame rate? So a little bit architect inspired this one. Uh, it, do it does look cool. I'll give him that. It does look cool. But what about this one? This one's called the tool guy. <laughs> I don't really understand what it does. So we've got chainsaws. How do we turn them on? Okay, chainsaws are a goat. So what if we go and straddle a building? All right, the downside of this one, very hard to steer. I'm trying to get myself straddled over that building. But uh, not the easiest thing to do with four sets of tracks. All right, but I think we're there now. Are we wide enough? I think we're just about wide enough. So we're going over the building. <laughs> oh, this is, this is so elaborate. <laughs> right, and then we can use the arrow keys to uh, just lower this so we can go very slowly or we can just absolutely cream it down. All right, so basically, I think it's a top floor remover of a building. I mean, perhaps you built your building too high. Building regs come along. You only put planning permission in for a seven story, not an eight story. So that building, absolutely fine below the top floor. <laughs> right, and we've also got this one, which is being built. The Venus. <laughs> uh, not a clue what they are inspired by, but looks pretty strong. Look at the spikes on the front. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, look how well it turns. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're tipping. We're tipping. I think we should have done that onto a building. Boosh. <laughs> oh, is that the actual... That is the actual purpose. We got rockets up the top. Okay, so... <laughs> let's go over to this little building here, which I'm pretty sure is an architect's consultant building. So, working in here, there's a lone architect making an engineer's day absolute hell. And then all of a sudden... Boosh! <laughs> the strongest shape destroyed. <laughs> and then we can see what remains of the architect if we just lift up. Oh, nothing. What a shame. What a shame. <laughs> Oh, what what a vehicle that is. What a vehicle. I'll tell you what, let's have a go at this one. I just want to see how it reacts on a bigger one. Oh, boosh. <laughs> yes. I love how easily it like self-writes. Very, very impressive. Well done, whoever made this. I'm secretly very, very proud. And then finally, once you get rid of this one, which takes a while, <laughs> we've, got to do, we've got to get rid of every block individually. We have this. Holy crap. The sword. I might have to change the color though. That color scheme not really doing it for me. That color scheme, however, look at this. <laughs> right. So, how do we turn on? Oh, it's a flaming booster type one as well. Okay, so we got that. What does Q do? So Q turns on some blades. T. Oh, T gives us clamps. So is that R? Yeah. Okay. So basically, can you see those clamps down there? They allow us to lock in nice and close. Oh, and we can extend our reach and stuff. Oh God. <laughs> Right, okay. The description of this says it's a very precise machine. So, shall we go over here and we'll try and take out the tower without taking down the building next to it. So, that's pretty good, I think. So, let's get the clamps down. Nice, we're locked into place. Now, let's turn the blades on with Q. Yep, saw blades are on. I think we should spin them up a bit with E. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Right, and then we just give the building a little prod. A little... A little bit of that. There we go. Nice and precise. The building next to it, absolutely fine. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of the feet. And let's drive around with this thing. Let's see what sort of damage it can do. Oh! That is beautiful. Look at it! This is like the flamey boosh on crack. Alright, so now let's extend into this building. Oh, it did, it did survive. If we go a little bit forwards, eh? Boosh! <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just looking at a very strongly shaped building. Great architecture going on this one. Looks very strong, but can it withstand the flamey boosh on steroids? <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Fair play, whoever made this. <laughs> so cool. The only thing is, a little bit sensitive on the up and downs. It's like, what? <laughs> it's like a horse rodeo or something. Yeah! Yeah! 
Right, well, anyway, guys, that was Instruments of Destruction going through some of the workshop levels. Absolutely incredible stuff. Keep it up, everyone. Loving these. And if you liked as well, please, flaming boosh the like button. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.